Hey everybody, Mark and Matt with Arnzen. Um, so we've gotten a lot of questions in the last year, I mean really a couple of years now, about uh, buying suppressors. So uh, this little video is designed to show you how we do it here at the shop. So if you're going to buy a suppressor from us and do the paperwork with Matt or Alyssa or any one of the employees here, mm -hmm. um, this is the process. So this should cover everything you need to have as well as what you're going to go through in order to get the suppressor. Cool? Yeah. So um, I actually don't know a whole hell of a lot about this. This is actually my first suppressor purchase. So Matt's going to take me through my trust um, and go through that. So um, first of all, if I called in, what's the first thing you're going to tell me to do? Pick out a silencer. Okay. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the first step. You have to pick one out because it's serial number specific. Perfect. Okay. So we've got to have it here. It has to be in, in our hands to be able to do a form. So. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, what about, uh, what kind of advice do we give uh, as far as taking it personally or in a trust? Trusts aren't for everybody. Yep. They are for some people. That's okay. I, that's a question I can't really answer. Yep. It's um, it's it's all based on what your family set up. Okay, is. cool. Yeah, and you can get a whole lot of information on that at uh, it was at mnguntrust.com is a good place to start. That's Actually, it's rust-law.com now. Good, it's rust-law.com, and that will be down at the bottom down there. I went the trust route. Um, made sense to me, so I brought my trust in. We've picked out a can. So, Maddie, what do we do next? Uh, we get started on a form. Okay, cool. Uh, I need a copy of that trust, cool. which you have for That's me. We did a copy. Uh, I also need your ID. Cause, okay, yeah. and there's my ID. And ostensibly, yep. you'll want some American Express at some point. As well. Yeah, that's at the very end. So, cool. um, we got two different computers here. One's for doing the form. This other one, fancy fingerprint system. Perfect. Pictures, all that Sweet. stuff. We'll get into that in a minute. Cool. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's actually pretty quick and painless, 20 to 30 minutes as a general rule, okay. unless there's other circumstances such as additional trustees, right. stuff like that. That, cool. that all takes longer. So. so at this point, you're just going to enter a bunch of information and mm -hmm. then we're going to go to the next step. Yep. All right. Uh, paperwork's all printed up. We cool. just got to do fingerprints, pictures, and get everything signed and we'll all be right. on our way. So Sounds square good. up to that camera, please. You can do that. Baron's going to help us with a, our with fancy a backdrop. Fancy backdrop. All right, no smiling. Okay, that is a good picture. Cool. All right, thank you, Baron. And now for the fingerprints, I gotta print this first. All right, so first impression we're gonna take is it'll be the right hand, all four fingers at the same time. Okay. We need to stay right at the top of the green lines or below it. Okay, right there? Nope, actually a little oh. bit like that. You can turn your hand like that if we're okay. gonna cut the pinky off. All right, lay them on there. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. and crafts portion is finished. Yay! Pretty painless. All right, so you're gonna sign here. Okay. You're gonna write as trustee after that because it is a trust. What are the benefits of doing credit card versus check? Is there any? Six of one, half a dozen of the other, if you ask me. Yeah. I've done them both, it doesn't it's it hasn't changed anything. Although sometimes credit cards do get declined mm -hmm. and then it gets sent back and I have to figure that out. Got it. And this is for 250, correct? Two. 200? 200 even. Oh. I mean I'm sure they'll take it if you send it but okay. all right that's that page mm -hmm. all right so press put, this quarter plate put this together and you'll sign as trustee today's date better okay these two are for you to <coughs> cool. get to the Bloomington Police Department um, Got it. Or whichever your local PD is. Okay. Take them to Yeah. You can mail them, drop them off. Okay. You don't have to get any receipt of them getting it. All it has to do is get there get and you them. fulfilled your uh, part of the bargain. Okay. Yeah. And then all this stuff gets sent to the copy of your trust to yeah. the ATF. Got two more things for you to sign. Okay. Cool. Those are fingerprint cards. Sweet. And that is top line. Those don't look like those. mine at all. I think they are. I mean, I remember my fingers being more attractive than that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Stay out of that one. <laughs> <coughs> I 
And at this point, all that remains is payment for it. And, cool. And that's that. Really great. And we'll do that now. Yeah. Do we run it here, or do they run it on that card? They run it on the card. It'd be payment for the silencer. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's that's what I was mentioning. So, yes. All right. But perfect. we've already taken care of that. So. All right. Really good. Um, yeah, that was done all all in advance. So. So if you um, are interested in buying a suppressor, uh, Matt is your guy. More likely than not, do you like them to select like them to call and make an appointment? Um, actually, email is the best. Okay. Um, if uh, well, if you're stopping in to buy a silencer, we're going to do the form right then. If it's something we ordered and we had to wait for it to get here, yep. Um, when Kristen receives it, you'll get a call from her. She'll direct you to. Um, get a hold of me via email, most cool. likely, to set up an appointment. That's the way we're doing it this day, these days, so we can manage the flow of people. Yeah, totally. Because you know we might get 20 cans in at one time. You get it. And if they all show up at the same time, that's not good. Give me a long day. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, you can email uh, sales at arnsandarms.com um, or Matt directly if you have his email address. Matt dot Barnhart B A R N H A R T at arnsandarms.com. That's perfect. And we'll see you guys in the shop. Thank you.